My next guest is pushing a bill to reinstate all of those military members who were fired because of Biden's terrible vaccine mandates. And by the way, get them back pay. Texas Senator Ted Cruz is with a senator. Please get these guys their jobs back. I think that's happening. Please get them the back pay they deserve. Well, a a amen. Look, look, we had an enormous victory last month when we finally repealed Joe Biden's abusive vaccine mandate in the military. Joe Biden over the last two years had fired thousands upon thousands of soldiers and sailors and airmen and Marines and Coast Guardsmen. And it, it was abusive. It was wrong. And, and, and I joined with a number of others in leading the fight to end this mandate. And we wrote it in the law and forced Biden to sign it in the law. So the good news is the mandate in the military is over going forward. The bad news is that, that we only repealed it prospectively. So there are thousands upon thousands of servicemen and women who fought for our country, who Joe Biden and the Democrats wrongfully fired. I, I, I've introduced legislation called the Americans Act that would enable every one of those servicemen and women wrongfully fired to be reinstated, to, to, to uh, restore their previous rank, to restore their back pay, to restore their previous benefits. And for those who choose not to be reinstated, there's some who are fired, who moved on to the private sector and might decide not to come back, to, to ensure that any discharge they have is an honorable discharge and not simply a general discharge, so they get their full benefits. They were targeted, they were persecuted, it was illegal, it was unjustified, and I'll tell you, Sean, I'm going to keep fighting for every one of these soldiers and sailors and airmen and Marines and Coast Guardsmen until justice is finally served. You know, Senator, I, I was, a lot of pressure was brought to bear on me during COVID that I should be telling people what to do. I don't know anything about people's current medical condition, their medical history. Um, and I respect people that decide to make other choices in consultation with their own doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to play one on radio and TV. That was insane to me. Uh, but there was pressure all the time. And I'm like, I'm not playing doctor. But I put on a lot of different opinions, some that I agree with, some that I disagree with. Even the guy that created the technology for the mRNA vaccines to be made, Dr. Robert Malone, said uh, the technology is not fully complete. However, he would yep. only give it to people with comorbidities, pre-existing conditions, and people 65 and older. With all that said, the two current variants we have, uh, in spite of the fact we were told if you, take, if you get the shot, you're never going to get COVID. If you get the shot, you'll never be able to transmit COVID. If you've got all the shots, all the boosters, even had prior infection yourself and have natural immunity, you can still pass on and get this current, these two current variants. It's all useless, all of it to me at this point. Your thoughts? Well, look, the nice thing about believing in individual freedom is, is that we recognize people can make their own choices. If an individual makes a choice based on their understanding of the science and the medicine to get the vaccine, that's your choice. And, and, and we're going to protect that choice. On the other hand, if an individual makes a decision not to get the COVID vaccine, that ought to be their choice, too. And, 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 and it, it, it is an amazing thing to see big government liberals who want to use mandates to fire you from your job, whether it's your private sector job, to shut down your school, to throw you out of school if you don't get a vaccine, to force parents. I got to say, look, it's one thing if someone is 80 or 90 years old and has all sorts of co uh, comorbidities where it may well make sense. They may make a decision, OK, on the risk benefit analysis, I'm going to risk getting the vaccine. I understand making that judgment. It's very different when you're dealing with a small child for whom the risk of COVID are much, much lower for government to come in and say, we're going to throw your kid out of school unless you put an experimental drug in your child. That is wrong. And, and you know, what the Biden administration has tried to do with these vaccine mandates, I believe what they're engaging in is a purge of government. When they're throwing people out of the military, they're trying to get rid of people, men and women who think for themselves, men and women who are conservatives, men and women who won't be docile sheep following their orders. They're doing the same thing at DOJ. They're doing the same thing at the FBI. They're doing the same thing at the Border Patrol. And, and I think it, it is a pernicious effort to purge sensible thinking people from the government. And, and I've been leading the fight against it for two years. I'm going to keep fighting against it. It ought to be your choice. And, you know, people are getting more and more angry because what you said just a minute ago, for example, natural immunity, 
under almost any disease, natural immunity is really potent, often much stronger than a vaccine in terms of preventing the illness. And yet we saw big tech at the direction of big government suppressing that information and trying to deceive the American Great people. Point. A lot of people are understandably ticked off because they don't like being lied to and they don't like politics being elevated above science or medicine or own health and safety. I'll never listen to any government official ever on anything related to medicine because they couldn't be more wrong. And when all is said and done and we find out the after effects of all this, uh, we need to have a serious discussion as a country. God forbid something like yes. this happen again. Now, Senator Cruz, yes. always good to see you. Thank you, sir. When we Thank come back, protest.